all right, going to do a video showing how the Islamic migration into Europe is causing all kinds of problems, especially over in the UK, and how just showing the fact that, you know, further proving that Islam is a spirituality of Ishmael, uh, because in Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12, Ishmael is described as being a wild man, and this is certainly true of a lot of the migration uh, from the Muslims and how the kind of conduct they're displaying over in the European nations. So let's get, this is on uh, Bare Naked Islam, the article. Uh, basically over in the UK, these luxury hotels are being filled up with these Muslim Islamic Ishmaelite freeloaders, free basically. Says, or, says on Bare Naked Islam, six local governments go to court to stop central government from filling up luxury hotels with illegal alien Muslim invaders. Six, six local governments are now fighting Britain's central government in court after having hotels in the area filled, flooded, with economic freeloaders from North Africa and the Middle East with minimal or even zero prior consultation. Yeah, because again, and, and you look at a lot of the stuff that's going on in these hotels, these Ishmaelite, you know, Islamic migrants are just trashing the places and just making a complete mess of these hotels, which normally would cost thousands of dollars. Sorry, just a little bit tired. Just woke up from a uh, nap that went longer than expected. But anyway, in the article continuing on says, uh, and, and it's quoting from Breitbart, says, with thousands of illegal aliens, many of whom have reached the United Kingdom by paying criminal people smugglers to bring them across the English Channel in small boats or by stowing away in heavy good vehicles now accommodated in often luxurious luxurious hotels. And at the taxpayer's extent, some councils are attempting to stop the influx in court, complaining they are not sufficiently consulted and that the needs of their local authorities areas have not been adequate, adequately accounted for, the central, for, for by the central government under Prime Minister Sir Rishi Sunak. I think he's a Hindu, by the way, as well, which, you know, really, when you get down to the truth of the matter, Hinduism and Islam are, are just two sides of the same Luciferian coin. Uh, side issue, but weddings booked by Britons at a stunning Victorian country mansion have been cancelled after the Home Office announced that it needed hotel the hotel for migrants. At least three weddings have reportedly been cancelled at the grade uh, two listed uh, Stoke Ranchford Hall in Lincolnshire. So these people already have reservations, but now they're just being canceled because of these Ishmaelite Islamic freeloaders. It's insane. But continuing on, uh, North North Northam Hampshire, whatever uh, North North Hampshire. I can't, I can't I can't pronounce some of these names. Just do I do apologize. Uh, council repeatedly became the sixth such authority, allowing uh, Finland District Council, East Riding of Yorkshire Council, Great Yarmouth Borough Council. Basically, list all these other councils essentially suing this, basically going, taking legal action against the central government. It says uh, specifically the North Northamptonshire, I think that's how I say it, council unsuccessfully applied for an emergency injunction to stop the government from ramming the Royal Hotel in Kettering full of migrants. He says, they say, quote, we do not feel the, the Royal Hotel in Kettering is the appropriate place to accommodate asylum seekers for a number of reasons, unquote, said Jason Smithers. The Jason Smithers, the elected, the elected leader of the council, I guess what? Says we do not feel that proposals have been properly considered to ensure the best possible welfare can be provided to the asylum seekers and the local communities in uh, which they are housed, continued the conservative party politician who finds himself in something of an of individualists, sorry, again, just woke up from a nap, so not the best at reading things on a computer. Uh, individualist position, given a central government, it is now led by the Conservative Party. We are now considering our options in light of the injunctions dismissal by the High Court, he added. You know, and again, my dog is barking, just try to ignore that. But you see there, there being the rest of these freeloaders being forced in by the central government. Because why? Well, and again, their behavior is showing that the fact that Ish, that Islam is a spirituality of Ishmael. All right, continuing on after that brief interruption from the dog, but what it's like having animals in the house. But uh, again, back to the article about how these Ishmaelite Islamic freeloaders are being forced into these luxury hotels against the will of the owners of the actual hotel. So it says, uh, continuing on in the article, the High Court did not refuse an emergency injunction because of the application because the application. Uh, lacked merit, according to a council spoke, sp spokesman, but because the court decided that the case should be hashed out between both parties in the court from the onset. The government is currently blowing some £7 million pounds a day in the in rising on free hotel accommodation for the asylum seekers and rising 
I figure it was already eye water an already was an already eye watering 4.7 million pounds a day in February uh, at a time when the when the Prime Minister Sunak I think I say say his name is reversing planned tax cuts in, uh, in, introducing new tax hikes. Uh, and scrapping projects intended to enhance Britain's national standing, such as the replacement of the Royal Yacht Britannia in an effort to bring the nation's perilous finances under control in the face of cost of living and energy crisis. So basically, uh, they're doing all this, meanwhile just spending just thousands, of, I mean just millions of pounds uh, in British money, which, you know, Canadian money would be like just lots, just, I mean, close to a million dollars, obviously. I mean, I don't know how the whole thing translates over, but essentially taking millions of pounds of your tax money if you're in the UK to house these uh, illegal, you know, keyword on illegal, Ishmaeli Islamic migrants in these luxury hotels and canceling other people who've already had reservations, you know, scheduled in advance. Yeah, and again, further showing, because you watch some of the videos of how these migrants behave in these hotels, just further shows the fact that Islam is the spirituality of Ishmael. It's the religion of wild men. Genesis chapter 16, verse 11 to 12. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that uh, Islam is of the devil, plain and simple. Uh, and it's just another form of the uh, Antichrist kingdom. Essentially, it's just another daughter of the harlot, the Vatican, in Revelation chapter 17, verse 18. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.